Assalamu alaikum. Please stop now. Stop. If you did in the past, so forget about and be careful in the future. Because I saw many civil engineering students, they don't know the rules and regulation of civil engineering, even they don't know what civil engineering, but they are working on construction side. They are making a lot of mistakes and they did a lot of mistakes in the past but till now they are working on construction site and they are making those mistakes which they did in the past but please stop now you are civil engineer you have to work perfect you have not make problems you have to not make mistakes be careful because it's mega projects you are civil engineer you have to make the work perfect beautiful I don't know what's the reason behind this so today in this video lecture I am telling you some mistakes which many civil engineers ignore these mistakes which I'm telling you in this video if you follow these mistakes so please stop now and don't follow these mistakes which I'm telling you so let's start if the video is helpful for you so must like and subscribe the channel for more civil engineering updates let's start the first mistake is many civil engineering students and in many construction sites i saw they runs electrical and sanitary pipes in rcc column and beam wow fantastic why is the beam or column is designed for sanitary or electrical pipes that you run it so please stop now and don't run electrical and sanitary pipes in rcc column and beam because we design rcc beam and column to support the building its structure and you run electrical and sanitary pipes 100 percent wrong don't do this mistake again if you did in the past so forget about but be careful in the future and don't run electrical pipes in beam and column and also sanitary pipes now the second mistake I saw site engineer on construction site he is standing during concreting but the labor is coming and they fall the concrete more than 1.5 meter from more than 1.5 meter and every civil engineering students and civil engineer and site engineer they know that if you fall the concrete more than from 1.5 meters so it's making segregation and segregation is a danger for beam column and also for slab so please don't fall concrete from the height of more than 1.5 meter if you did so forget about but be careful in the future now the third mistake i saw many engineer and they use less than 12 millimeter die of steel and rcc slab so please don't use less than 12 millimeter die of steel and rcc slab but use 12 millimeter or more than 12 millimeter die of steel because less than 12 millimeter die of steel is not suitable for rcc slab and before some days there were some site engineers and they were removing the farm work from the slab before three days please don't remove the farm work before three days from the slab and you know because it can't get the strength concrete can't get the strength just in three days so therefore i'm telling you don't follow these mistakes now the other problem and structure design specially if the die of steel is more than 36 or 36 millimeter so don't lap don't make overlapping for 36 millimeter die or more than 36 millimeter and you can weld it but don't use lapping length for 36 millimeter and remember guys there is also the other mistake don't use about 50 percent overlapping and project if there are 50 percent overlapping so it's a danger it can't support the structure load therefore i'm telling you if you did so okay but be careful in the future and now there is other mistake about a grade of concrete for beam column and slab we should use m20 grade concrete or more than m20 grade concrete but i saw many people many site engineer they are using M m15 grade concrete but it's wrong don't use m15 grade concrete for beam column and slab but m20 grade concrete is a suitable for beam column and slab or use more than m20 grade concrete but don't use m15 
And the other mistake is about water cement ratio. For M20 grade concrete, don't use less than 0.45% water. Must use about 0.5 or 0.5% water for M20 grade concrete, but don't use less than 0.45%. And every civil engineering students, they ignore these points which I'm telling you. But please be careful in the future and follow the rules regulation of civil engineering. And there is also one other common mistake. In private works, many civil engineering are doing this uh, mistake uh, about circular and rectangular column. But in rectangular column, it's okay. They are using four numbers of steel bars, but you also use a minimum four numbers of steel bars, but come to the circular column. I saw they were uh, they working actually and they fixed four numbers of steel bars in a circular column. But remember guys, it's a mistake. Don't use four numbers of steel bars in a circular column. I also saw engineer was present there, but they were fixing four numbers of steel bars in a circular column. Please stop now. Use minimum six numbers of steel bars in a circular column. Because you are engineer, you already know that it's wrong, but why you make this mistake? Now, thickness of RCC slab. Many students, they are working on design, on structural design, but they take Thickness of RCC slab less than 125 millimeter. Please don't take thickness of RCC slab less than 125 millimeter. So these are uh, some mistakes which I have discussed the front of you. So if you did these mistakes, so no matter, but be careful in the future and do the perfect work because you are a civil engineer. So nothing special. This is a video because uh, I was thinking that why civil engineering students are making uh, mistakes because you have to study more about civil engineering, what's new in civil engineering, what's the new technology in civil engineering. So this is a video. If this video is helpful for you, so don't forget to like and also remember guys if you have any question about this video which i've discussed the front of you so you can comment i will try to replay your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye